Indeed. First of all, does anyone with agree with Michael Carrick on the penalty? <laughs> uh, I disagree with everything he said in that interview. Go on then. Well, everything he said, he's talking about a plan. He's talking about a penalty. Of course it was a penalty. We, we've all looked at it. It's a penalty. It's not about the players' efforts. He's proud of them. He's been working with players for the last few months. He was alongside Ali. He was in the, he was in, he was in the dugout with Ali. And now all of a sudden he's proud of them this week and they had a plan. What about all the other games they had? Why aren't they making an effort in the other games? Why aren't they closing down people in the other games? He's talking about the, the, the high pressure is too much. We've seen all the stats before the match. They're the worst in the league. Closing people down. Winning the ball back. Praising players there. Yeah. Praising players for doing their jobs. You mentioned the three midfielders. It's ridiculous. He was, he was sitting in the dugout for the last few months with Ollie. Last few years. And he was sitting with Marino as well. All of a sudden he's proud of the players this week. He's working with the same players. There was one school of thought, Roy, that I heard this week, that all the coaching staff should have been cleaned out when Ollie left. No, well, I, I think the game has changed. I think, um, I think that's difficult. Every situation is different. Obviously, people under contract. And Ollie might have said to some of the staff, listen, I want you to stay on. L lads have commitments and mortgages and stuff like this. So I, I wouldn't be one for that, getting rid of all the staff. But, but they have to be held accountable, some of the staff. Because they weren't just with Ollie, they were with Marino as well before that. And what, are they going to stay on with the new manager? Presumably, the, presumably that will be the plan. Would you not think that's well, the I right just, way my, to go? No, uh, not necessarily. No, not, not if they're up to the job. And some of the staff have been in a number of years. I get the impression of Man United the last few years, and what it be some of the backroom staff, people upstairs. I think there is an element now at Man United, kind of job for the boys there, you know, job for the boys, you know, just you know, wink, wink, look after each other, know the right people. And that's why they're, what, eight or ninth in the league. But is that why this is such a, uh, a sort of a breakthrough in, in some senses? Oh, we hope they are, so. They're considering a complete outsider. Oh, we hope so. <laughs> Listen, that's obviously... we. we Proofs in the pudding over the next few months, the next few years, who comes into the club. And it's not because you know somebody or because you've got a certain agent. We hope whoever comes into the club, and when they do come in, they start making the right decisions, you get the right people in for the job. And not because you might know somebody or because somebody's a decent guy. I think the, the idea, uh, uh, the loyalty in the game, you want loyalty, obviously you go and get yourself a dog. But you've got to go and work with decent people who are good at their jobs. And I've studied Man United the last few years and the, the changes they're making. And I'm not necessarily sure they're getting the right people in the, in the, in the, for the right jobs or the, the top people. I think it's a case of... There's definitely a bit of a palzac going on at Man United, without a doubt. Did you sense a bit of defiance there, Jimmy, from Michael Carrick? I, I, was, I was surprised at certain things that he, that he said, uh, especially off the back four. Um, if, if you look at... If you analyse the game... Chelsea's had chances, good chances. That's not good defending, you know? So you were lucky if you come out and you say, look, uh, Chelsea uh, didn't take their chances. We were lucky. We are happy with the one point. You know, that happens. That is, that is, you don't have to be embarrassed about it. That's just happened. Um, but to say that it was a brilliant performance, you, you, had, you had a goal from a mistake. Now... You do put pressure on Juninho to make that mistake, uh, but he can head the ball easily away. And you get another chance with, with, with the goalkeeper. That is also a mistake. But then if you analyse Chelsea, what chances they got, it's not by mistakes, it's by individual play. And at the end as well, if, if uh, Rudiger scores that 2-1, what would he say then? You know? And... I'm a little bit surprised at how he came out and what he said. I'm a little bit... It, it can happen with, with, with a manager because... He's defiant, doesn't he? He's one in Villarreal, he's got a point here at the league yeah, leaders. No, yeah, but when you come off the pitch as a manager sometimes, you see the match different or you, 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 you feel the match different, you know, and then going to speak to, to, to the media straight away... It's, it's different than when you watch the match back on video and then seeing the match... And, you know, and then sometimes you see, hey, actually, I was wrong there. Yeah, but, that might be the case. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but let's not forget where Manchester United have come from here in terms of the other two title contenders have absolutely obliterated them at whole. They've come here without Varane and Maguire, the first-choice centre-back. So 
we've, we've all probably been there in a position where the results overtakes everything. That wasn't an amazing performance, but it certainly wasn't a bad one. I, I, I thought Chelsea had won 3 or 4 nil. No, no but, then, the but, then, but then you say the result has been brilliant. We could do better at this, this, that. Yeah, but, I think he but, said that, didn't he? he well, well, no, he said it's a brilliant performance. It, 66%. Chelsea, 66%. Well, Chelsea are far better than Man United. Exactly. So. Then he is, for me, you should say that. Chelsea is far better. We tried to contain them. We had a plan. We tried to get out. Here and there it worked, it, especially in the second half. In the first half, the front three were, were poor, but in the second half they came out better. We looked more dangerous. But still, you give a lot of chances away. Let's, that's uh, Jimmy, right. he says, he says we, we, they keep talking about after we, we had a plan and they're proud of the players. So what... What plans did it have the last few months? Was that just down to Oli? If we're led to believe that Oli wasn't taking the training sessions, Oli was letting the staff get on with it. So what plans were they doing the last few months? What plans did they have before Liverpool are home? Man City, Watford, did they have any plans? The plans only started this week. When did the plans start working? Monday? Well, from everything we read about the incoming manager, Ralph Rangnick, there will be a lot of planning at every level. What do you think is possible? What is the best that Manchester United can hope for this season with Ralph Rangnick at the helm, Jamie? Top four. They're not good enough to win the, the big trophies. I know they've qualified in the Champions League and we've seen it done before, certainly at this club, where uh, an interim manager comes in, Roberto Di Matteo, and wins something. And uh, Chelsea last season in terms of Tuchel coming in, but I don't think Manchester United are anywhere near the, the, certainly the top teams in Europe. Uh, which I class the three teams in the Premier League, possibly Bayern Munich as the four teams who I see as the elite in European football right now. I still think there's a, there's a way to go for Manchester United. There's no doubt about that. But, you know, today, you know, they'll be really pleased about that because I think coming here today, they'll have been fearing what happened against Man City and, uh, and Liverpool in the game. So I, I think from a Man United point of view, I understand what the lads are saying. And in terms of you, you analyse and scrutinise exactly what Michael Carrick said, it wasn't an amazing performance going back in history with Manchester United, but it was a decent point to come to Chelsea and get that. You made the point that, yes, some Chelsea managers have come in here midway through the season and achieved great success, winning big trophies that are still available to Manchester United. Let's just remind you of that. It's not just one or two. There's several that have, that have managed to take over right the way back to Avram Grant under Roman Abramovich and had success. And I take your point, Jamie, that, yes, these are... This is a very talented Chelsea team that they felt was underperforming, that have gone on to be runners-up in the Champions League, winning the FA Cup, winning the FA Cup and Champions League under Roberto Di Matteo, then more recently Europa League winners under Benitez and then Thomas Tuchel, the impact that he had in four months here last season. As things stand, Ralph Rangnick has six months. Jamie says they can get up to top four in the Premier League and qualify for the Champions League next season. But what if he wins the Champions League? <laughs> It's not beyond the realms of possibility, is it? Jamie will look very stupid then, won't he? No, I, um, no, I, 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 we can't see this team winning the Champions League. You know, we're on about the players they're missing. Varane's a big loss, but the way Maguire's playing in Shaw, you know, they, they wouldn't necessarily be big pluses coming back. But football's a mad game, isn't it? You know, if they got one or two in, in January, which I'd be surprised if you can get any top quality player in. They, they are capable of challenge to win trophies. They got close last year. They nearly got over the line in the Europa League. Um, semi-final against Man City, but this group hasn't shown they can. New manager comes in, of course they can win. They could win the FA Cup, of course. The Champions League, I don't see it. I don't think they're good enough, not consistent enough, they don't work hard enough. 